Our world is always moving forwards, continuously creating and producing new innovative products and technologies. But our modern research and developments extend beyond our latest phone model or the newest medicine breakthrough. Some of the most fundamental research we carry out today focuses on unveiling past mysteries and rediscovering the lives of societies who shaped the world as we know it. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries that have provided us with a glimpse into human history. Deep Sea Expedition Uncovers 30 New Species Plus Longest Known Animal It is widely accepted that the sea contains thousands of as yet undiscovered creatures. It seems that every time a research team dives to new depths, they uncover a host of new species. And the April 2020 expedition was no exception. A team of scientists from multiple institutes combined forces to document 20 dives and 180 hours of footage of the Ningaloo Canyons in the Indian Ocean, captured by a deep-sea diving robot called ROV Subastian. The robot was able to penetrate to depths of over 4,500 meters and captured video of many species that had not been seen in the area before, as well as several apparently entirely new species. Among these new discoveries was a giant red hydroid, which is a relative of the coral species that appeared to be over a meter tall, as well as a new member of the Apolemia that is estimated to be over 47 meters long, making it the longest animal ever recorded. Technically, the Apolemia is made up of a giant colony of cell-like creatures called zooids and is classified as a siphonophore. Because it is made up of millions of tiny individual creatures, some would say that the Apolemia in itself cannot be classified as its own entity. However, siphonophores are particularly fascinating because each of the zooids, despite being individual creatures and not cells, act as if they were each carrying out specific functions that contributes to the viability of the larger whole, such as food digestion, reproduction, and propulsion. The Apolemia is without a doubt a creature of otherworldly proportions, as it was glimpsed in its glowing, spiralling, UFO-like feeding posture through the lenses of the diving robot. The structure is not where the extraterrestrial illusions stop either. As the zooids are described by scientists as a jelly made of millions of interconnected clones, with each clone being specialized to do one of a dozen different tasks. What makes this specimen stand out so vividly for researchers is its enormous size. Most siphonophore colonies that have been observed so far have been between 17 centimeters and 1 meter long, entirely dwarfed by the 47-metre length of this colony whose hunting spiral spread across almost a 16-metre diameter, with tendrils dangling into the water below. The discovery of such an enormous example of a species already known has excited researchers about the immense possibilities for what could lie beyond the realm of our exploration, and one of those things could be millions more giant siphonophore galaxies just like this one, simply waiting to be discovered. Among the other species that were observed in the dives into the deep sea off of Western Australia were bioluminescent squid, glass sponges, long-tailed sea cucumbers, mollusks, barnacles and squat lobsters that were previously not known to inhabit this part of the ocean. Specimens from the dives were collected and will be on display in Australia. It seems that the ocean will never fail to amaze us with its mysteries and we may never truly know exactly how many unknown species lie hidden and undiscovered in the uncharted depths. The deeper and deeper we are able to dive and discover, the more we understand that legends and ancient myths of sea monsters and unbelievable sea creatures might just be closer to the truth than we ever dared to imagine. We simply must continue to probe the deep sea floor in order to understand the true nature of what exactly we are sharing our valuable planet with. Scientists climb into Siberian sinkhole. In July of 2014, three massive sinkholes mysteriously appeared in northern Siberia, leaving scientists scratching their heads as they looked for an explanation as to why so many sinkholes of such large proportions appeared out of nowhere. 
Later that same year, a team of Russian scientists with the Russian Center of Arctic Exploration led by Vladimir Pushkarev ventured into the bottom of one of the sinkholes in the search for some answers. The sinkhole was so deep that the team had to use ropes to propel themselves 34 feet to the bottom, where they took probes, measurements and samples and attempted to get to the bottom of what could have caused the sinkholes and whether we should be alarmed at their appearance. Although they have not been able to definitively say what caused the three initial sinkholes, whatever it is did not stop with just three. In the years following the expedition to the sinkhole floor, at least 15 more have appeared across Siberia. These holes appear as deep caverns and funnels and are of an ever-increasing magnitude, leading scientists to study them even more intensely as they hunt for the source. The prevailing theory of the sinkhole creation is that methane is building up underneath the Siberian permafrost covering the Earth's surface, and then it releases in a colossal burst that causes the formation of the gaping caverns. Many think that drilling for gas reserves and other such activities in the region could be triggering this methane buildup, leading to the concerning number of explosions in recent years, while others attribute the cause to instability created in the tundra as a result of global warming and still others believe it to be a combination of the two. Although the true cause of the creation of these sinkholes has yet to be determined, one thing is for sure, the force behind these massive openings in the Earth's surface must be genuinely great. One of the largest and most recent sinkholes measured over 30 meters deep and 20 meters across, meaning that only an incredibly powerful explosion of some sort could have created it. Evgeny Chuvalin, the leader of an expedition into this newest crater and researcher at Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology's Center for Hydrocarbon Recovery has been attempting to find the root cause of the craters for years. He said the following, Right now there is no single accepted theory on how these complex phenomena are formed. It is possible that they have been forming for years, but it is hard to estimate the numbers. Since craters usually appear in uninhabited and largely pristine areas of the Arctic, there is often no one to see and report them even now. Craters are mostly found by accident during routine, non-scientific helicopter flights or by reindeer herders and hunters. This means that there could be more sinkholes on top of the ones that we've already discovered. Further muddling the scientists' search for an explanation is the fact that the sinkholes turn into small lakes relatively quickly after appearing, meaning that if samples are to be taken from the bottom, scientists must not only stumble upon the hole in the Siberian permafrost by chance, but then also move quickly enough to obtain samples and study the formation before it fills with water. Although continued study of the craters leads teams closer and closer to a solution with every sample taken, for now, we are simply left to wonder at the massive forces that could be behind such an impressive explosion, and what it might mean for us humans and the planet that we live on. Four hundred and thirty thousand year old meteor explosion. Scientists who study asteroids, particularly those that entered the Earth's atmosphere thousands of years ago, have a rough time tracking the sediment. Fortunately, any asteroid that crosses Antarctica likely left a discernible trace, as the environment has been totally untouched and perfectly preserved for almost the entire history of the Earth. This was the case with an asteroid that plummeted to Earth 430,000 years ago, during the time that the first Neanderthals were beginning to expand across the globe. The asteroid never actually made contact with the surface of Antarctica, but instead exploded in the sky overhead in what is known as an airburst, leaving shrapnel, space rock and intense damage to the Earth below. The location was lucky for two reasons. First, a similar explosion over a modern-day town would wipe the town off the map, and secondly, the isolated region of Antarctica meant that hundreds of thousands of years later, samples from this meteorite could be extracted and studied, which is exactly what researchers did. And what they found surprised them. The samples of the Arctic meteorite did not resemble samples taken from anywhere else in the world, as they were bonded together in strange, glob-like formations. These discoveries have allowed scientists to piece together what likely happened, even though the event was hundreds of thousands of years ago. 
Based on the samples taken, they believe that the asteroid could have been as large as 150 meters wide. Because of the strange formations of the samples, the meteor likely broke up relatively close to the ground, which allowed the fragments full of nickel and magnesium to react with the Arctic ice to form the odd shapes. Airbursts are even more damaging than asteroids that contact the Earth, because the explosion from the former can destroy an exceptionally large surface area, while destruction from the latter is usually limited to the crater that it creates. This Arctic airburst likely affected up to 100,000 square kilometers of Antarctica, with temperatures reaching up to 5,000 degrees Celsius. The fact that puzzle pieces like this from space events that occurred before humans even walked the Earth shows just how far science has come. Mysterious blobs of dense rock hundreds of miles tall sits deep inside our Earth. Our final discovery is a mystery whose origin has yet to be fully explained. Deep beneath the Earth's crust are two massive blobs of rock that resemble a pair of hands cupping the Earth's core. The word massive is an understatement as these formations spread thousands of miles in either direction within the Earth's crust and make up 600 miles of the Earth's 1800 mile deep mantle. Geologists have spent the last four decades trying to determine the source of these gigantic continent-sized formations that have been discovered under Africa and the Pacific Ocean. While some experts have suggested that these are tectonic plate fragments trapped beneath each other, new research points to an otherworldly explanation instead. Yuan, a PhD student from Arizona State University, suggested that the blobs are the remains of a planetary embryo the size of Mars, named Theia, that collided with the Earth in its early infancy 4.5 billion years ago. Yuan theorizes that Theia's mantle could have been several percent denser than Earth's. This theory would explain how it would have been possible for Theia's mantle to sink through the planet's lowermost mantle and surround our planet's core. In 2019, while studying the plumes of hot rock and magma from some Samoan and Icelandic volcanoes, scientists were able to identify several elements that date back 4.5 billion years ago, the time when Theia is suggested to have collided with Earth. While this data does support the collision theory, there is still not enough resounding scientific evidence to support it fully. The resulting impact is also the most popular theory to date about the origins of our moon. The collision would have caused the Earth's surface to explode into a sea of raging magma, shooting planetary debris out into space that would later form our only permanent natural satellite. Another interesting theory is that when the two primordial worlds collided, their cores fused into a single core, potentially releasing the chemicals needed to support life on our planet. It has also been suggested that these blobs are so massively dense that they contribute to the weakening of our Earth's magnetic field. While the planetary collision is the most popular hypothesis explaining the origins of our Moon and the blobs cradling the Earth's core, scientists have still yet to find enough concrete evidence of Theia's existence. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.